what are some things like some job searching advice that you could give someone that's trying to break into their first role? Because it, it's pretty hard. Uh, the job market's incredibly difficult right now. At least I think it is. Uh, I think it's definitely from what from what I know, it seems like it's harder now than it was uh, in past years. So what are some job ser- searching tips that you could recommend? And um, what would you say to the people that are, you know, that might have a couple of certifications in their belt, they're not they're not getting any job offers. Rule number one is to stay consistent and never give up. The job market sucks right now. I'm just going to be honest. Like, it is so brutal. I have people messaging me being like, do you have any job for me? Like, I'll take anything in cybersecurity. And I'm like, I, I don't, you know, it's just so tough right now. Companies are, you know, I don't know what's really going on in the industry at the moment, but companies are just not hiring as frequently as they used to. So what I'll say is definitely continue connecting with people either on LinkedIn or on Discord. I find Discord to be a fantastic resource. There's a ton of fantastic servers out there like Republic of Packers, which, you know, self, (laughs) that's my, that's my Discord. Um, But we basically help people with their career and break them into cybersecurity. You know, another great one is the John Hammond Discord, right? Where they just go through a ton of different resources to help you break in. Um, I'm sure there's a ton of different recruiting, you know, Discords out there. But if you want to go down the LinkedIn route, I'll say this, look for small businesses or look for recruiters in the industry who you can start talking to, whether you want to take a job with them or not, just being able to connect with them, speak to them and understand what they're looking for is better than just randomly applying. Because if you start to create friendships and you start to create connections with these people inside of the company, they'll think about you more where let's say you want to get into a penetration testing position and you want to go to Bishop Fox. What I would do is I would look for a recruiter at Bishop Fox and I would just start messaging them. You know, like, Hey, how's it going? I'm brand new to the field. I'm just trying to break into the cybersecurity industry. Do you have an internship position or do you have any sort of associate position available at this time? Something very polite, And if they say no, be like, okay, you know, thank you so much. I look forward to speaking to you soon. In the next three months, maybe there's a position that comes out from Bishop Fox that says, okay, an associate penetration tester with one year of experience is what they're looking for. You'll go back to that recruiter and say, hey, we, you know, I just wanted to touch base. I saw that there is a brand new, you know, application out there. I'm still, I'm still available. I just recently applied. I really hope that, you know, you and I can work something out. Very polite, very straightforward, very simple. Don't start bombarding them with a ton of messages being like, hey, I need this job. Like, if I don't get this job, I'm going to lose my, like, relax, you know, take it easy. You know, I know people that have done that and it just gets them into deeper water than they already are. So just relax, stay put, and just continue to grow your network. That's how I started. I started the Discord simply because I didn't know where to go inside of cybersecurity. I was trapped. I couldn't find internships. I was losing my mind. I was like, I can't get into the field until I started the Discord. When I started the Discord, I was able to connect with professionals in the field. I was able to connect with a ton of fantastic, fantastic connections. And they knew other people that were hiring. It slowly led to more internships and eventually my full-time position. Nice. And you talk about you know, don't don't go into interviews and say, hey, I need this job or I'm going to lose my house. Don't, you know, even if you are like, don't say that in an interview because uh, you don't want to you don't want to be desperate. And uh, it's a big turnoff for for hiring managers, for sure, and recruiters, too. And then another thing that I would say, throw in there is LinkedIn is a powerful networking tool, but don't go on LinkedIn and complain about, you know, not finding a job because that's also has the same effect. People are like, you know, everyone's gonna be like, well, he can't find a job, but why can't he find a job? And then they're going to like they're going to look at they're going to look at the flaws before they saw see the good in you. So. I would not go on LinkedIn and complain about not finding a job. I see that a lot. And I'm like, I am just like, you know, I'm not even a hiring manager. I'm just like, man, what are you doing? You're, you're messing it up. So do you feel the same way when it comes to like, when you see people like complaining on LinkedIn about how hard a job market is and stuff? Yeah, I definitely get a turnoff when that happens. I'm like, you know, I I don't know how to help you if you're just going to start posting that stuff. So again, what I normally do is I'll just go out and I'll try to find some sort of position for that person. I get a ton of people messaging me, asking me for help. So I'll go out, I'll try to find a position that suits them the best, or I'll help them revamp their resume to fit whatever they're trying to go into. Uh, Once that happens, I'll start to reach out to a few friends, you know, a few connections, see if anyone is hiring. And if they are, I'll push them forward. But you need to be respectful. You need to understand that other people are also in line. They're also doing the exact same thing as you're doing. They're trying to get that job in cybersecurity. And it takes time. 
you know, I, I know some people who they went, they went down the IT route first before they got into cybersecurity. It's just how it is. It's really who you know, not what you know, unfortunately. Currently, I will say in this industry, you know, maybe down the line, things will change. But as of right now, I think it's best to start networking, even producing content on LinkedIn. I started doing that about a year ago, and now I have over 9,000 followers on LinkedIn. So just being able to go out of your way to help the community and share your experience, even if you have none, being able to go out and say, hey, look, here's the research that I did, or here's the Try Hack Me Room that I did. Here's what I learned from it. Here's my takeaway. Something as little as that can really boost not only your motivation to learn more about cybersecurity, but it can show the recruiters that I'm willing to not only help out myself, but help out the community. I'm not selfish. Now, it's not for everyone. I know imposter syndrome is definitely a thing. So, yo, if you're too nervous to do that, maybe take it slow by posting once every month or maybe every three months, but just try to get your name out there a little bit. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Uh, you know, you talk about LinkedIn and, and creating content. That, that's actually how I got my current role. I didn't even apply to my current role. I just uh, I put my open work banner up and, uh, you know, someone reached out to me and be like, hey, I see you post, you know, hack the box stuff every single week. And I see you make content and it's awesome. He's like, I'm, and basically that's how I got my foot in the door with my current company. So uh, definitely, yeah, if you put your, put stuff out there to help the community, people notice, and especially if you're consistent, people, people notice that. And uh, that's one of the things that's helped me out the most because I didn't really know anybody in the field either. I was coming from the military and all my connections are still mostly in the military. So like getting out was uh, kind of hard.